What is up guys? I am Dap. This is Dap Sports. Check it out. We got a new banner in the background and we ordered the wrong size. Don't worry guys, we're gonna order a new one. We're gonna put it up. No big deal, whatever. Everything's fine. <laughs> I know I'm smiling right now, but the light inside me is dying. Uh, what? Guys, stick around. Remember, we're gonna announce the winners from last week and also top three most liked comments underneath this video today are going to win three cards. We're gonna announce those cards towards the end of this video. Good luck to everybody. Remember, most liked comments one week from today underneath this video are gonna win, all right? Let's jump into something else I wanna show you. I'm sure you noticed this beautiful display in the background. All right, guys, this is my own personal collection. Check this out. Go to showyourslabs.com if you wanna find one of these beautiful PSA 10 displays. This is the Daps personal collection, as you can see up here. My boy Corey over at Show Your Slabs. He will personalize your PSA label up here to whatever you want it to say. I think it's floating around a buck 79. Use promo code DAPS, you're welcome. You're gonna save a little bit of money. As you can see here, guys, I got three Kobe's, right? I paid around between 1,500 and two grand for those. They're worth close to $10,000 each now. I got the Jordan PSA 9, the Holy Grail OC in the middle. Zion rated rookie, clearly Don Russ, with the necklace, that's dope. I got a Mike Trout over here. On this side, I paid around three grand for that one and it's worth about 10 also. Right here, so the Zion I pulled myself, the Tua I pulled myself, the Burrow I pulled myself, and then this Herbert down here, I bought. This Herbert, as I move it in the light, you can see it. He's in his Oregon College Uni, it's a short print. It's a nine, not a 10, but I thought the card was dope. I think I paid somewhere around 200 for that one. So guys, if you do end up purchasing one of these, remember use promo code DAPS, D-A-P-P-Z. You'll save a couple bucks on the site if you want a slab display. This is called a slab grabber. It's gonna come with your display. This is an old model, so you might not get this one. What's cool about this, guys, is you just pop it on right here, and it's gonna pull right off. There's some nano gel in here. That's gonna keep these guys stuck tight. You push it right back on, and then you just pull it right off. So that's how you could change out the displays if you ever hit a card that's bigger than one of your previous cards that you're really in love with. Use that. Like I said, guys, really cool display. This is my personal collection. Got two out of 50. Guys, the last time I checked on this Zion, there was only 34 PSA 10s in population. 34 PSA 10s. I ain't selling that card anytime soon. Let's go. All right, guys, you see in the display now. Let's check this out. Next up, we're gonna talk about my man, Sammy D. This is a base prism, guys. I think I bought about 30 of these last year. I got a lot of his base and then I bought one of these blue laser parallels. Look at that. Look at all the color in that one, guys. I was paying between 15 and 30 bucks for these. Now they're somewhere between 25 and 40. I ended up never sending them in. Guys, I think that anytime a player is traded to a different team, different market, there's potential for that card to spike. He already has gone up. I think he's going to go up a little bit more by August. You might want to wait for him to cool off, but I definitely think Darnold is a buying opportunity. We'll see how high he can go. His PSA 10s, I think I was paying around 99 bucks last year, guys. They're probably probably up somewhere around 150, 175 now. So this is what's really cool about the card market, guys, right? I buy Darnold for 99 last year. He goes up to 175, 200 maybe. I get greedy, think he's gonna go higher because Daniel Jones on the Giants, obviously I follow both New York markets, hit 400 PSA 10 on his rookie. So I was like, oh, Darnold definitely has the potential to go up a little higher. He didn't. Now I had to sit on these for a year. But guess what, guys? If you make a bet or you gamble on a game, you're out that money. I sat on this card for a year. Darnold gets traded. Guess what? Now I'm up money again. And again, I'm gonna play this game of when do I wanna sell? I think August preseason is the time to sell. Buy in the off season. I say it all the time. And then sell right before the season starts. Guys, this card's in the ballpark, 150 right now. So what I think is this card is gonna crack 300 by August, PSA 10, with the hype surrounding Darnold. Listen, as a Jets fan, I always rooted for Darnold. I think Adam Gase sucks. Hate him as a head coach. You're trash, kid. So glad he's out. I wish nothing but the best for Darnold. I hope he does well in Carolina. I hope his career takes off. I really do because the Jets just really mishandled his career. And maybe it wasn't the Jets, maybe it was Gase. But ultimately, the Jets hired Gase, so it's the Jets' fault. Guys, also, this is the Sam Darnold Select. I bought it at around the same time. I think it's been around 100 bucks. It's floating around 125 right now, guys. I'm gonna sit and hold this until August. I'll probably sell it then. Hopefully, it'll break 200 bucks. Good looking card. Guys, Select is clean. Guys, the Select that we've been ripping on my lives. Remember, I'm live on Instagram six nights a week, Pacific time, 5 p.m. We are ripping Select. 
These select packs out of blaster boxes, if you can find them at Target, they're out of blaster boxes, are loaded. Loaded, loaded, loaded. We do a lot of raffles at night. If you guys wanna try to win some cards, come on down to the live, all right? All right, guys, let's hop into some baseball. I wanna talk about two players who I like, who I think have the opportunity to pop. I invested in them last year. They haven't really popped yet. Still kind of at a break even point, but I do want you to know where my head was at when investing in these guys. This is Anthony Rendon. This is a refractor, Topps Chrome. He was an MVP years ago with the Nationals. Now he's on the Angels. He bats right next to Mike Trout. He's had a lot of injuries, but I will not be surprised if this guy turns it around. You could buy this at around 150. I think I paid around 100, 120 for it. It's sitting around 150 right now. I think that Rendon is gonna get hot at some point. And if he does, and if the Angels go on a little hot streak, his card has the opportunity to pop. We will see. Similar situation, different player, Christian Yelich, also former MVP. This is a Bowman Chrome 2013, number 40. That's also a refractor floating around 120 to 150. He's been injured a lot too. This year he hasn't played a ton. So if he goes on a little tear, I guarantee you his price will spike as well. We will see. Guys, if you're unaware, I am posting two videos a week now, all right? The one I'm buying, which is what you're watching now, and now I'm doing a second video that I release on Tuesdays. I'm doing box reviews. We just did NBA Panini Prism Blaster Boxes. So these are two cards I'm about to show you that I hit out of those boxes. The main Main cards you're looking for are obviously LeBron and LaMelo. The reason you're looking for LeBron is because there's this card called a Kobe tribute card. And guess what guys, I hit one in the video last Tuesday. You could watch me rip it live. This is the card. It's a LeBron James tribute to Kobe. This is a green, you see the refractor, a green refractor. So guys, this card raw right now is selling for between I think like 250 and $300. The blasters might cost you 150, so I probably doubled my money on that just with this card alone. I don't know if this is gonna PSA 10. Let's examine the card together, guys. If you look on the top, this green border up here is a little bit thinner than this green border down here, right? And then you guys gotta count the dots on both sides. So I think this card will nine. Either way, I want it in a slab. If you hit the LeBron James tribute card with some color in it, it's gonna be worth money. Guys, even the, the ones without color are still selling for a decent amount of money. Try to find those in the blaster boxes if you can, or buy them on eBay, buy them raw. Make sure, remember, look for the borders surrounding the card. Make sure you buy something with decent centering if you plan on sending it to PSA. If you just wanna keep it for yourself, then it doesn't necessarily matter and you could pay a little bit less. The next guy you wanna hit, guys, is obviously LaMelo. I hit him as well. Remember, go watch the video. Go watch me rip it live. Now, unfortunately, this one, I was very psyched to hit it, but as you can see, on the right side here, right, you have one, two, three and a half dots, closer to four. And then it is clear, guys, that on this side, there's only three dots going diagonally up. So that means that this side is thicker, the border, than this side. This card will not PSA 10. I'm not gonna send that one into PSA. So be aware of that, guys, when you're ripping cards. To save yourself on submission fees, don't send cards. Three dots, four dots. Every different set based on the year will have different indicators. So if you look at previous year prism, there's not gonna be these dots. There might be vertical or horizontal lines that are indicators. Those will help you to figure out the center, all right? Guys, we've also been running breaks on Daft Sports Instagram Lives. Like I said, raffles, we call them raz in the industry. We've been running breaks, we've been selling packs, we've been selling boxes. Please come down, check them out. Follow me on Instagram so you get the notification when I go live at night, and that's how you'll know. Enter the live stream. I answer everybody's questions in the middle of the live, so if you have questions about cards, you can ask me there. Check out these Zions we hit. We hit these yesterday, check this out. My boy Garcia hit this card out of a fast break box, guys. Orange. Zion, everybody makes fun of this card because it's the same print as the Mosaic from last year, the Zion rookie from last year. I personally love this print more than his last year's print. This is the second year Zion. So check this out, guys. That's gonna be numbered out of 49. This is the Zion 185, guys. The last orange out of 60 sold for $750 raw, and this one's out of 49. So this card raw is probably close to $1,000. If this PSA 10s, usually you're gonna 4X that. On the low end, let's just say at a PSA 10, this is worth about $3,000. My boy Garcia is definitely happy about this one. The box that this card came out of, guys, remember, is going to be the Panini 
prism fast break box, one auto and 12 prisms per box on average. Really cool box. We will be selling packs on live. If you want to rip these, we'll put them in breaks over the next couple of weeks. Come check it out. Who's going to be the next one to hit a Zion? I don't know. We'll see. And then my other buddy Pumba was in a break. He ends up pulling the Hornets in a break. He hits three Zions. Check this one out, guys. He hits the NBA hoops slam Zion. How cool is that? These slam covers are dope. You'll love to see it. Next up, he hit the same one as Garcia, the number 185, except that's the fast break variation. Definitely not as expensive just because there's no number on that one. Still lots of color in it. Gorgeous card. And then he also hit another Zion downtown. Look at that. Tons of color, guys. These disco balls in the back, that's called a fast break variation. Comes out of that specific box we just went over. Gorgeous card. Okay, guys, let's get to the winners from last week. Remember, the giveaways from last week are the crunch time. Luca looking like a cereal box for a healthy helping of buckets. Let's go. You got the Tom Brady a Brilliance. That's the green. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then the last card we're giving away this week, guys, is the 2003 Upper Deck LeBron James box set. Beckett 10. That's a pretty card. Look at that one. And in third place with 16 likes is Luke the Gamer. Congratulations, Luke. You will get whatever card is not picked by winners one and two. In second place is Cayenne, my boy Cayenne, congratulations. He's probably gonna end up with that Luca crunch time. Maybe he'll take the Brady, I don't know. And the winner with 64 likes is Jacob Lebon. I hope I'm saying that right. Congratulations, Jacob. You will have first pick at LeBron, Luca, or Brady. Let's go, baby. Congrats to Jacob. Jacob, send us an email, dapsports at gmail.com, and we will get you your prize, all right? And guys, now we're giving away three more cards next week. Those three cards are Absolute Tua Rookie Card. We have a Jersey Swap Zion Jaw. Check that out. That's a refractor. Oh, yeah. Look at that bad boy. Let's go. Sheesh. And then we're giving away a PGI Gem Mint 10 Leonard Fournette Panini Prism Rookie. Lots of color, guys. Lots of color. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Guys, I hope you had fun. Remember, please check out my box reviews on Tuesdays every week going forward. Go check the last two out. We've already reviewed NBA Panini Prism, and we've reviewed Topps Chrome Black, which is also very cool. Hope you had a good time. I will see you guys on Tuesday.